ADHD stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. It is a neurodevelopmental condition that can affect attention, organization, short-term memory, activity levels, ability to sit still, impulse control, and how one regulates their emotions. There are different types of ADHD. The inattentive type, previously called ADD, the hyperactive impulsive type, and the combined type where both inattention and hyperactivity impulsivity are present. In order to meet diagnostic criteria for ADHD, symptoms must be present in more than one environment. So usually this is at home and at school or after school activities, and symptoms have to affect daily functioning. For some kids, this might mean that they're failing in school or not performing at the level that we know they're capable of. For others, they might be having difficulties with social interactions or getting into trouble. We start diagnosing ADHD at four years old. Symptoms must be present for at least six months or longer, and we have to ensure that there are no other conditions that can share a lot of the same traits. While it is important to point out that ADHD is not caused by poor parenting or lack of discipline, it is a condition that often runs in families. Treatment involves a combination of behavior strategies, educational support, and sometimes medication to help manage symptoms and improve overall daily functioning. ADHD is typically diagnosed clinically, meaning based on a good history and observations. If you have concerns, a good first step is to talk to your pediatrician or family doctor. They will start by asking specific questions and have you and a teacher or a coach fill out questionnaires. If your child is diagnosed with ADHD, they can then talk about various management options. If concerns are present for a learning disability or other diagnoses, your primary care doctor can refer you to a psychologist that can perform this additional detailed testing. It's important to note that not all children with ADHD require this additional detailed testing. Effective ADHD management is a combination strategy. This includes lifestyle factors, behavior therapy, parent or child coaching, and medication if needed. With regard to lifestyle factors, eating a healthy, balanced diet, engaging in routine physical activity, and maintaining good sleep hygiene are all very important. In addition, having a daily routine and structure Checklists for daily tasks and utilizing mindfulness can also be very helpful. When managing ADHD, it's really important that we consider all of these options and not just rely on medication alone. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below or reach out to us at Coralis Health. If you found this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.